Hi guys, Anger Monkey here, and um, what just happened? Um, I don't know who I'm supposed to pick here because I don't, I couldn't read anything because the words were all crazy and this is going on and uh, Natsuki, sure. No. Hi, Monica. You're a little too close to the screen. Ah, like Ichitoko. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. Like, they really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Aha. Some president I am, right? I can't even comfort, confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never had it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, and that's fine. I'd be happy to spend more time with you instead. One's out of the classroom. Oh, why are you crying, Natsuki? I'll dare. Like, well... It looks like they're already done. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Rocking back and forth. Palms on her forehead. Y Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did, but... Angie Toko, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. That's fine, Yari. Like, we know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about this by tomorrow. Completely. Uh, anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Mm. You can go home. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay here a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Ichitoku. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate your... Okay. We're here again. Um, let's... What do I do? Do I focus on Natsuki? Yeah, let's... Natsuki was crying last... Uh, yesterday or today or... I'm assuming this is tonight's homework, so today... So, huh? <laughs> you can tell mostly, um, which one is Natsuki. The these are so different. I mean, Sugar is definitely Natsuki. Wrath is definitely Yuri. Nightgown, not sure. Determination's probably uh, uh, Yuri. Um, nature. Kawaii. Um, jumpy in response to 999. Okay, and party. What? How long has that been there? I am freaking out right now. Why is there a picture of Sayori hanging in the back of the classroom? Has that been there this whole time? Am I just now noticing that? Another day passes. Okay. Uh, I'll come back, Ichitoku. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. 
sure if it's just me or Fury's expression, but the way to yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Monica at her desk. It's surprisingly Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly Yuri takes my arm and pulls me. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. N nothing like that has ever happened before. And sometimes something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Noski as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems, but whatever whatever it was, it didn't make me think any, any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Ichitoko, don't say those kind things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is just a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, uh no, uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Yuri, I guess you haven't either. Uh, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? What? Jeez. Uh, Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of, you're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but... I'll accept your apology anyway if it makes you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Hey. No, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Eh, turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Door swing open. Sorry? I'm super sorry. Like, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Nusky was. I was not! Ahaha. <laughs> what took you so long, anyway? Ah, uh, like, well, this was my last period with study hall, and to be honest, I kind of lost track of time. Uh -huh. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Oh, well, this is kind of similar dialogue, but I guess we have a different backdrop, so it's kind of a different thing. So, I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, what, don't give more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, well, thanks. Anyway, you alright? Eat my hair. <laughs> Sorry, that, 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 I know that's a Game Grumps joke, but that was still funny. I guess it's funnier when it's Natsuki, but still. You should play for us sometime. Uh, that's, uh, well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, like, I won't let you down, Ichitoko. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping I could share with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. Not sure if Monica is referring to the whole club or just me. Uh, in that case, best of luck. Ah, uh, thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not not really. 
chose not to bring up that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already run off into the closet. Ichitoku, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in, in the club. Oh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you just gave me that book. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... Uh, she's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Whoa. Come on, we... We're going over there. Okay. What's the story about anyway? Well, um... With the cover of the book, the book's titled Portrait of Markov. Okay. There's an ominous looking symbol, eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned to a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Uh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I, I'm really into it. The, the book, I mean... <laughs> not the thing about the limbs. <laughs> That's kind of... dark. Made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh, are, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Ichitoku? Uh, no, no, it's not that. It's I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kind of story, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the book, but her mind seems to be completely different. And it's just that this kind of story. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. And horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil. Because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. And suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, I don't apologize. I, I, I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredible. I, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. Alright, it's fine if, it's fine if I sit here, right? Sit in the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's that I'm not very used to... That is, reading in company with someone. This is exactly like Natsuki yesterday, but reading... Violent cult book versus... Magical... Not, not, not magical world. Slice of life girl, cutesy girl stuff. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open the book and start reading the prologue to understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. Realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just... I was just bathing in the... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I I mean... <laughs> Here, this this should work, right? Slide my desk up against Yuri's, then hold the book more between the two of them. Uh, I, I suppose so. Clo uh, closes her own copy once we... Okay. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here... 
Oh. Okay. Oh. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after. Okay. Holding it like this. We're huddled even closer than before. It's kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are, are you ready? Huh? To turn, to turn the page. Uh, oh, sorry. I think I got distracted for a second. All right, let's meet. Don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. Continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on my own volition. Continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Thumbs gently uh, letting go of the page, letting it flutter uh, to her side as she catches it. Hey, Yuri. This might be a little silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh. No, I, I don't relate to this character at all. I don't know, this, this uh, facial expressions... I don't know, maybe it's just because of the whole uh, Sayori thing that this this expression here is... I don't know, maybe she's just a little caught off guard, I don't know. I am I might be reading... I might be acting like Yuri right now and reading too much into the scenario. Uh, definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses the things she says and all that. Oh, uh, that's what you're talking about. Uh, sorry. I thought you meant... Something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know wh why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Yeah. A little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick. Oh, you can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your, your breathing is a little... My breathing... Puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Turns up practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Ah, uh, Ichitako? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. You're acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Because you're a guy and you're new and that's the vice president. N no, nothing. Uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes and so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Y yeah, I was just asking. Mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Well, um, guess we'll start with Monica. Hi again, Ichitoko. Like, how's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Like, want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. Alright, like, great job, Ichitoku. I was going, oh, in my head while I was reading it. It's really metaphorical. Like, I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Oh, it's easy for me to keep expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Oh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess that worked anyway. You know that Yuri kind of likes this writing, right? What? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel that, like, Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I got, like, maybe, like, three or four things of Yuri and the rest was Natsuki. So, I don't understand what Monica's getting at here. I don't mean, like, that's a bad thing, though. 
but sometimes I get the impression that she's really totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head, it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yare! I'm back, and I miss anything. Not really. Like, we all just started sharing our poems with each other. Eh, already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. Like, we were still plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway. You wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do it too. Save me. The colors they want. Bright. Beatful. Cut. The piercing red, green, blue, and this cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Yeah, okay, so this is basically the same poem as last time, but the, um, the squ-itching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like, I don't know, these random breaks in there. That's so weird. Delete her. Okay. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself uh, facing a difficult decision. And when that happens, don't forget to save your game. You know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> that was so weird. Um. Okay, we're, we're going to come back next episode. We're, we're going to read um, Natsuki and Yuri's poems. Um, so, I'll catch you guys then.